Hey everyone, it's Pegmas. It's been a while, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up the Weldman's tutorial. And last stuff off, we did the end caps. And as you can see them, they're one right here, and the other right here. There should be all of them. There might be some on the bottom, but that's not super important. So we're going to go ahead and add in the gussets. Alright, so click the trimetric in the standard view toolbar. Once again, you can just click the box here to pull out what we need. So we move this here and hit trimetric. Okay. Hit the gusset in the Weldman's toolbar. Okay. Part manager, pin this. Pinning it means that you can keep doing it repeatedly. It's very helpful. Um, it helps you avoid making the same command repeatedly. Alright. So the support faces, we'll click these two, so we're going to zoom in, more here, okay, so face one and face two. Okay, under profile, click a triangular profile, which is pre-selected, click the inner side, are they pre-selected, gusset thickness to five, check, location, click the midpoint, okay. All very simple, you just rinse and repeat. So steps four through seven once again to each of the four corners. So once we hit check, it lets us do it again. So we're going to go here. We're going to click here and here. And all the things are pre selected, so that's not going to change. That's two, three. And four. That's four. Click X to close the property manager. Uh, let's go ahead and just cheat real quick and put it back to trimetric view. Okay. Scroll back down. The feature design tree gusset one through four appear in the cutlass is implemented. So gusset one, two, three, and four. Check. Adding the web beads. It's not been saved 10 minutes. Alright, go ahead and save that real quick. Okay, should be done. Alright, zoom in to the bottom left corner. Click the filled bead. Okay. Pin it. Alright, probably enter under arrow side. Click full length and be select. Okay. Full length, 3 millimeters. For the face one, we select the face of the gusset. Okay. Face two, we select that and that. So the side, because once again, it's a weld, so we need to weld it from the gusset to the main body for structure. Okay. Select other side. Okay, that's this. And we'll do the same thing. So our face set one is here. I think. And for face set two, oh, there it is. There we go. Put that right. Face set one. Check this at two. Also the same. Okay. And hit check. Okay. Now it's been welded. And this says to repeat the same steps for the other uh, four gussets. We'll go ahead and just do that real quick. Okay. This one is here. Phase two. And there we go. Other side. One. And two. Okay. And you can see it says the annotation will appear saying it's a three millimeter weld. One, 
two. Um, Fourth one is this two. And this set two. Okay. This is four. Close that. Hit parametric again. Okay. Doesn't matter in the future, we can move bead 1 through bead 4, but we'll appear on the cut list. So, gusset, fill up bead, check, control Q to rebuild the model, and control S to save it. Okay, switch to the new segment. Click bottom. Is this bottom? Yep, bottom. Okay. To hide the weld symbols in the annotations, right click annotations in the feature manager, design tree, and clear display annotations. Uh, huh. Okay. Well, that was cool. I'll just relearn something for the sketch plane. So the face at the bottom on the structure shown. So. To filter early face available for section, click toggle section filter, toolbar, filter faces. Yeah, we'll go with that another time. So we're gonna click here, click sketch, or the new sketch. Sketch the dimension of horizontal line is shown. Okay, so we zoom out. Are we in sketch? I can't tell from a sketch. Once again, click. Or actually, view. Hide those sketches temporarily. Okay, we'll draw a line. Alright, so here to here, and dimensions are 800 millimeters. Then from here to the middle of this line is. 250 millimeters, and from this point to the origin is. Wow, that's actually pretty close. 100 millimeters. Okay. Click the center line and sketch a construction line between the two midpoints of the vertical sides of show. Okay, so center line, two midpoints are shown, one and two, double click to turn it off, and someone's playing Goat Simulator, I'll have to figure out how to hide that, alright, completing the sketch. Alright, click Mirror Entities, so, oh, I don't want that, alright, Mirror Entities. So this is the entity I want to mirror. I'm going to mirror about this line. So now here's another one here. We've got the two lines. Check and close the sketch. And we'll uh, annotations, display annotations. And in your view, we'll do sketches shown. Okay. Change the pierce point. Alright. In an I beam structure number in the sketch segments to define the rails on the bottom of the part. 
you change the pierce point of the I-beam profile to position the structure member properly. Okay, so hit trimetric, and the bars, okay. Click structural member, okay. And the property manager under selections, uh, the standard is ISO, select SB beam, so size 80 by 6. Okay, you can use the wellness profile supplied within the software to do it. So it's already just part of it. Click the right view. Part manager under settings. Look at profile. Okay. Alright, here's what I missed, guys. And this is just me being impatient, but under settings, you had to hit the locate profile. There we go, that should move it from there to here. So, hit X, or check. There we go. See, that's why you always gotta read. Feels yeah, so broad, but you can group related entities together into sub weldments, creating the sub weldment for the back of the box to group the four structural member segments and the four in the cap. So in the feature manager, expand the cut list. So cut list here. And that's a lot of cut list. But let's take this back to trimetric real quick. Alright, so press control and select. So it says trim and extend to. It's one of them. Trim and extend four. Ah, although the numbers might just differ, so I actually gotta find. My okay, so I want this one. That one. That one. See, where's my there we go? That one. And the end cap. So end cap, end cap, end cap, end cap. Okay. Right click and click select create sub weldment. That just collapses the thing. A new folder uh, named sub weldment with eight entries appears in the list. Alright guys, well, I mean this video is running pretty long so we're gonna go ahead and just worry about that later. Uh, We'll make a third part when we discuss this, uh, but only if people ask about it. And we'll see you guys next time.